Hey there folks, I uh, want to do a quick vid for you guys. Just wanted to show off the anodizing work by my good friend Joe Bananas. And I uh, want to share it with you guys because Joe's anodized a few of my knives now. So if you guys have any interest, I'll put the link below. And I'm sure Joe can accommodate you. Uh, you just shoot him an um, email or a DM on Instagram. And uh, if you have any knives that you're kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of done with that one. Or you're kind of bored with it. And uh, maybe, you know, just want to jazz it up a little bit. Joe is the man. I mean, if you've seen this before on, I'm not even sure it's so long ago. Now, I got these scales from John, John Grimsmo. This was actually his brother, Eric's um, paramilitary. And... I'm not sure if I did a vid, but it was definitely on Wieners and Steel. It's the one I pronounced paramilitary. I couldn't end the paramilitary, kind of like banana nana. <laughs> but this was like a rainbow. Uh, it was heat treat. I mean heat treat. It was a uh, heat anode, uh, flame anode, and it was kind of like um, rainbow colors, which was okay at the time. Uh, definitely was happy to grab it from uh, John Grimsmo. I bought it, but I quickly uh, kind of got tired of the color. So along comes Joe. Thank God for Joe because Joe could pretty much do any color, any anode that you want. And he's getting pretty decent with it. More than decent. He's pretty. He's getting pretty excellent with it. You guys might not see it because inside the scales, he actually, he actually anode uh, HWIC on one side to the other. Because the scales are milled out. To accommodate the weight. So in there somewhere it says HWIC. I thought that was pretty neat. Inside joke. If you guys don't know, then you don't know Wieners and Steel. And you know what? You better ask somebody. So, all right. So this is my paramilitary two that Joe anodized. We actually, when I sent it to Joe, I actually didn't know what color I wanted. Uh, I basically told him, do whatever you want. I think we start, We were going to do like um, two different scales, I know, which is a little nuts. And Joe finally did this because Joe could change it different ways if he wanted to he just did this and he sent me pictures of what do you think and i loved it instantly so um if you look at it joe did like a green anodizing and i think you guys can still you can see on the flats it's like a light lavender purple on the flats on the top of the honeycomb so i thought that was pretty neat especially in the sun you can see it changes colors it's really, really well done. A little history about me and Joe. I don't know if you guys, if we've talked about this, maybe we've discussed it in Wieners and Steel. But basically, I was introduced to Joe Bananas on Instagram, Joe, uh, via Knife Thursday. So I got to be friends with Joe in the social media, which is you know, foreign territory for me because I never really, friends are friends that I meet in person and Joe's a person I basically met through social media and started off with like uh, commenting on your pictures and maybe texting and then telephone calls and it was weird. It's weird for me. I don't know if it's for the, uh, what do you call the generation? The, is it generation Y? I don't know. The kids that are all into texting and social media, maybe that's normal for them to um, to uh, interact in social media. But for an old timer like me, it was definitely odd. It was a little bit weird because I talked to Joe, I want to say, for like about a year and a half. And I became really friendly with him. And then I first met him in Blade Show uh, 20, 2014. 2014. And uh, me and Joe have been good friends ever since. You guys experienced similar uh, you know, events in your life, similar experiences where you meet somebody. Like, I meet so many people through uh, Instagram, and I haven't met them yet. Of course, many I have. Uh, we have this DM thing that's going on now between the wieners and a couple of uh, knife nuts. We call it Standard Dudes. <laughs> it's our private DM. And last night, we were watching the McGregor fight, uh, which, of course, ended up horribly for... <sighs> for McGregor. I was rooting for McGregor, but I was afraid that uh, Nate Diaz was going to, um, you know, just be too much length and too much reach for him and too much jujitsu. But anyway, so we're all watching the fight last night and we're all discussing on DM. So it's kind of like unique. Now, a lot of these guys on Standard Dudes, I haven't met yet. I uh, hope to meet them on 
Blade Show. That's the plan. Um, some of the guys on Standard Dudes, uh, you guys already know. Uh, Derek Razor Sharp, if you follow him on Instagram. Um, it's just a host of guys. I mean, Key Bar's on it. Robert Carter and Ives on it. Joe Bananas, The Wieners, and uh, a few excellent, excellent dudes that uh, I can't wait to hang out with on Blade Show. So it's kind of a cool experience. But enough of that. Just want to show you guys this. Of course, you've seen this beauty that Joe did for my uh, mid-tech Quayback. Awesome. Speaking of Quayback, uh, if you guys are attending uh, East Coast Custom Night Show, which is this coming Friday, uh, look for the wieners. And Jay Kovac's going to be there. How awesome is that? So maybe I'll show Jake this uh, cost, uh, this mid tech way back that Joe Bananas uh, anodized. Um, who else is going to be there? A few, which, uh, if you guys don't know, East Coast is kind of like the weaker of the shows. I hate to say that, but it is a lot more European knife makers that, uh, with a fa I mean, I'm not talking about the, the quality of the knives a week. The, the, the quality of the knives are definitely. I mean, probably super high end. You get a lot of Italian knife makers and European knife makers, and it's just the price is just beyond my reach. But as far as weak, I mean, by most of the popular knife makers don't attend. Uh, there are still some, and uh, I want to say, like Jake is probably going to be in the main draw for this weekend if you guys attend if you never met Jake if you didn't attend Blade Show or any of the other popular shows Jake's gonna be here and East Coast Cups Knife Show so you definitely check that out um, Ramon Ramon Chavez is also gonna hang out he doesn't have a table he's just gonna hang out with the wieners just gonna come out check out New York that was a misfire that's a that's a misfire so a misfire yeah so yeah let me just do some macros for you Joe's awesome work and again I'll put his link below just really it's almost a shame that I have to put this clip on it but this is not a sweet honeycomb pattern done by the Grimsmo brothers John Grimsmo and Eric pretty sweet still pretty popular pretty popular scale one of their more popular type scales all right folks just a quick vid for you guys. Hope to see many of you uh, East Coast Cups tonight show. If you do, if you do go and you're able to identify the wieners, please, please, please say hello. We love meeting uh, the viewers and we do it for you guys. So um, don't be shy. Don't stare at me trying to figure it out because you don't know what I look like. If that, that sounds like Mike, but I'm not quite sure. Just come up and say hello. You might be coming up to a lot of different people. That's not me, but <laughs> but that's the fun of it. It's like an Easter egg hunt. All right. All right, folks. Peace.